everything you need to know about the Wizard101 Summer 2022 update. Go to the timestamps for updates you're interested in. For more information, please look at the update notes on the Wizard101 website. Guilds is a much anticipated feature added into this update. Guilds are permanent large groups of players. To create a guild, you need to be the current max level and have 11 friends who are level 30 or higher able to join the guild. A guild can have up to 50 other accounts. Multiple characters on one account in the same guild will only count as one member. Meaning, if every guild member has all of their 6 characters in the guild, you will have 300 characters in the guild. You can see your guild information and how to start your guild by looking in the social tab. The first page is the summary which shows information about the guild and the latest guild message. The second page is the guild roster which displays the current guild members and their role. Guild leaders can also set roles for guild members on this page. The roles in a guild are decorators. These players can place items in the guild house. This allows them to move, place and trash items from the guild inventory and put them into the guild house. Recruiters are players who can invite their friends to join the guild. Messengers are players who can send guild messages to the message board. The final page is the messages that members can post to organize guild events. This system works similar to the adventure party message board. Guild leaders are able to select a new guild member to become leader, change the name of the guild, and remove players from the guild. If the guild leader wishes to leave the guild, they must first select a new leader. Guild members can create groups with other guild members and also leave the guild. The guild house is a house designed to be improved with your guild. You can teleport to your guild house from the guild menu or by pressing shift and home keys on your keyboard at the same time. Decorators can decorate this area much like a regular house. The guild house starts off as one island, but your guild can work to expand it by completing tasks scattered around the island. Your guild has an inventory for housing items to decorate the house. The inventory holds 100 items at any one time. Any member can donate housing items to the inventory through the guild summary page when they are in the guild house. Any item you donate will become guild property and you will not be able to retrieve it back into your inventory. Leaders and decorators can trash items in the inventory. These items will stay in the guild landfill to be reclaimed for a week until they are permanently deleted. Raids are guild dungeons for a group of 12 highly skilled, experienced and organized players. Raids are intended to be very hard and challenging and you will most likely not win on the first try. Raids are built using some of the features from Beast Moon Hunt and Beast Moon Mayhem and the new Rochambeau spells of PvP. There are challenges related to combat, puzzles and some will require close communication and organization from your fellow guildmates. This update brings a solution to lore spells and how to obtain them. Law spell spellaments will be dropped from skeleton key bosses related to the world the spell is based on. The drop rates are very similar to the spellament drop rates in the first arc. Stone and wooden keys are being phased out and all bosses going forward will be gold key bosses. Bosses that did not receive an update this time will still accept their normal key type. Skeleton key fights going forward will now scale with your level. In order to get spellaments you will have to fight the boss tied to your level. The existing key bosses that now drop spellaments are... The Spirit of Ignorance in Wizard City will now drop Ravenwood Ranger Spellaments. King Boar in Grizzleheim will drop Grizzleheim Lore Spellaments. Takanobu the Masterless in Mushu will drop Ninja's Lore Spellaments. Lambent Fire in Avalon will drop Knight's Lore Spellaments. Xcax Cursed Wing in Azteca will drop Shaman's Lore Spellaments. And finally, Reindeer Knight and Krampus Spellaments will only drop from the Krampus fight during Yuletide celebrations. There are four new key bosses. Baron Von Bracken in Wisteria, who drops Wisteria Lore Spellaments. Lady Stonegaze in Aquila, who drops Immortal Lore Spellaments. High Lore Magus in Dragonspire, who drops Keeper's Lore Spellaments. And Drowned Dan in Celestia, who drops Celestian Lore Spellaments. This update introduces three new beast forms. Life Cyclops, who is not a strong hitter or healer, but is the best form so far to deal with minions. Myth Fairy, who is the first form to have an off-school minion that can be upgraded after it has been summoned to allow the minion to use more powerful spells. Storm Ninja Pig, who does not focus on blading and instead focuses on healing and dealing with negative charms to help the team. Pet will casts are now available for PvP. They work slightly different to other will casts. They add a bonus card on the top of your deck that you can use like a regular spell. There is one spell for each school. See the update notes for the talent names. The will cast spells are Meltdown, Tranquility, Delusion, Wall of Blades, Contagion, Writing the Scales, and Reap the Whirlwind. Old One's endgame tier 3 spellament cost is set to 115, like the other spells. Several spellament ranks have been changed to match the rank of the spell they upgrade. PvP season changes 
will now occur on Wednesdays instead of Tuesdays. Corporal's Guard's recipe is now set to the proper requirement of rank Corporal. Praetorian Guard has been added to the Monstrology Golems category. Unforgiven Dead Creatures now have the correct pricing in the Monstrology Tome. Evil Carrots have been added to Monstrology. Fatui mobs have been removed from Monstrology to avoid confusion. Angoro's Tower will now load correctly in the Mything Links quest. Several pets have new talents. When purchasing blueprint tokens, it will now be apparent that they have been bought. Celestia quest camera positions and dialogue timing have been changed. The Buy More UI will show the correct cost when spending blue arena tickets. Several creatures have been demoted from boss to regular mobs. Divim Doodlefish has a description now. And Beast Moon badges will now have the correct icons.